תורה אין אמונה. No תורה, no אמונה, nonsense control your life. Remember, no תורה, thank you, no תורה, no אמונה, there's nothing instead, only nonsense. What did he wear? What did she wear in a wedding? What kind of flowers? What color? Who set it up? What band? What orchestra? What kind of what jewelry they gave the things? Nothing. Only nonsense. How they did the deal? How much they got the mortgage for? Not one word of wisdom come from his mouth the entire year. Or from her mouth. Not 100%. This is what's happening now. I promise you. If you really care about your soul and you care about Hashem, you must connect to the two things I say. Every day, work on Emunah. You know, I listen, I have a few CDs that I listen to Divrei Musar. Each one of these CDs I heard more than a hundred times. I could also say I know it by heart already. I know it by heart. But it doesn't matter. Every few days I have to put it in. Why? It reminds you of what needs to be done. Believe me, you think, oh, I know it by heart. No, no, no. Many people become big shots. They hear lectures about proofs and emunah, and then two, three months later, we move on. We're now listening to much higher level. Yeah, you listen to higher level, but you don't have any emunah. What's going to happen with your level? Two years from now, you go back to be secular. You don't have the foundation. You don't have the foundation. Now, let me tell you another problem that we have now. People that are starting to become religious do not have a guideline and directions how to become religious. They don't know. They know whatever they hear, they do. But they don't really have someone that explains to them what needs to be done. So sometimes we find a person that is supposedly only six months Shomer Shabbat. He is doing things that a rabbi, 40 years teaching Torah and Yeshiva, is not in his level. Every day I go to the mikveh. Every day I go to the mikveh. Who are you to go every day to the mikveh? What are you, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai? Rabbi Ovadia yourself doesn't go every day. You go every day? No, no, I heard that rabbi say mikveh every day. Fine, mikveh is very important. But there are much more things that are more important. Shabbat, tefillin, tefillah beminyan three times to go to the shul every day. Work on your integrity, honesty, Tzedaka, watch your eyes, your relationship with the girls, how you clean your life, emunah in Hashem, and the most important thing, Torah, none of that it takes serious. Mikveh every day, hocus pocus. <laughs> now what happened with these people, I tell you. If they would do everything else I mentioned, plus they do things above their level, fine, I understand. I understand. It's not making such a big damage. But because they are feeling, I am in six months, like Rav Ovadia Yosef already. I passed him. See? He doesn't even go. I heard that rabbi doesn't go. Only on Friday he goes to the mikveh. I'm better than him. That's what he thinks in his heart. And he really believes it. He, in a million years, he won't get to the level of the other one. But somebody got to his head. Ooh, ah, this is a midat chasidut. So he thinks I'm a chasid. Yet he doesn't have aleph bet. He already jumped to Z. Start with ABC first, my friend. Put your feet back on the ground and recognize who you are. You are minus, or maybe you are zero, maybe. And act according to who you are. You're not someone who learned 60 years Torah non-stop, Rav Eliashiv, so now you're thinking, will I miss a day mikveh or not? Or, or will I go to a wedding or not? There's a wedding, my friend in Yeshiva get married, it's Bitul Torah, it's not for me to go. <laughs> Tomorrow he gets married, and some of the guys from the Yeshiva didn't come to his wedding, he comes to the Yeshiva the next day, <coughs> everyone should know I'm very, very disappointed from you. I thought you my friends, half of you didn't come to my wedding, I felt horrible all night. Just a week ago he gave a speech, to go to a wedding? I learned two or three more hours Torah. It's Bitul Torah, what? I'm going to do one mitzvah and I'm going to lose three hours of learning? If you're really honest, you should be very happy. Not only you will not invite your friends to the yeshiva, you put a big sign. Please do not come to my wedding. I have my Persian family, they come, don't worry. You stay and learn Torah. Why? I don't want because of me, 
30 guys would close the book for two hours. It's 60 hours of Torah. I don't want to be responsible for that. Don't come. Ah, if you like this, no problem. Ah, for you to go, not to, you know, this is what's happening now. It all comes from one reason. You know what it is? It's all about pride. Pride. Whenever you see a new Baal Tshuva does strange thing, it comes from one negative source. Pride, ego. Show off. That's the right word. Show off, like the little kids. You know how the little kids come? They put feeling of their father. They put talit. And they make faces. They want to get attention. It's not only the little kids. There are people like this, 30 years old. It's all a show off. Two months he shomer Shabbat. He prays in a, in a synagogue. Half an hour. The rabbi, the Rosh Yeshiva, six minutes. Him, half an hour. Why? All show off. Nothing else. When he's alone in his house, he didn't make it to Minyan, three minutes he pray. Only next to people he makes a show. Everything is external. It's all a show-off. None of it is real. 